she's okay, let her in. You were so good, I didn't know you can play like that. Thank you so much, I've been playing since I was a little girl. I've known you for about three years. I didn't know you could play like that. When I used to see you downtown playing you wasn't so dramatic. I would have never thought you could play the violin like that. Wow. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you made it this time. I sent you an invitation to the first few shows, but you didn't show up, so you know. Well, I was out of town when you performed your first few shows. Really? That was great. You were great. Next show don't change a thing. If you do just as good next show, I'll give you another solo and some other songs. Are you up for it Becky? You bet I am Orca. I'm ready for it. Just give me some music and some time to rehearse, I'll be ready. Okay, I'm going to go now. Take care of yourself. That is so awesome. You're going to have a bigger role in your music. Wow. Do you want to go out and celebrate or something? Sound good, let's go eat. I'm hungry, let me call Dave and tell him the good news. to move that rug. Hello. Hi baby, how are you? I'm fine, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your show. I had a problem at the restaurant. Anyway how was your show? It was great. Orca is going to give me more solos on more songs if I do great in the next few shows. That's great, I hope it works out for you because you are a great musician and you deserve it. Thank you baby, I love you so much. I wish you could have been there. I promise I'll be at your next show, and when you start doing more solos, I will definitely be at those because I'm just there to see you anyway. The rest of them are kinda boring. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, you silly. Lisa and I are going to celebrate. We're going out for dinner. I'm cooking here, why don't you and Lisa come home and eat? I just want to hang out with Lisa for a bit and chill outside. I'll be home later, love you. Alright don't drink too much. Call me later if you need a ride. All right, love and kisses. I'm feeling really sexy about all of this so be ready when I get home. What the hell are you waiting for? Just get your ass home now. Patience baby. Patience. Hello, Becky. That woman is going to drive me crazy. Are you okay? Is something wrong with your food? No, I'm just so amazed on how good you can play. I'm just thinking to myself, this woman is a true genius. Genius, I don't know about that. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. That's a true genius. Thank you so much though. But when I saw you on the streets playing for money I just thought you were a simple violinist. Well, I like to be out in the open and play around normal folks. It kind of brings me down to earth. So I play in the streets for an hour or two and then I go to practice with the orchestra and that's when I go off. Wow, I'm still so amazed. Do you want to go to a dance club after we eat? No, I'm tired. I'm going home and do something sexy to my hubby. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'll talk to you later then. I'll call you tomorrow. Dave and I are going to the ball game tomorrow, so I'll talk to you later. Okay, give me a call, whenever.
Hey baby, how are you? I missed you so much. I wish I could have been at the concert. What happened at the restaurant? One of the chefs almost chopped his finger off. We had to call the paramedics to take him to the hospital. He'll be all right. How was your outing? It was fine. Lisa wanted me to go dancing but I was too tired and I wanted to see my hubby. Your hubby? Who is this? You messing around on me? You know you're the only hubby for me but there's a pianist that I have my eye on. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, you're going to get it now. You've got to do something about that carpet. Put it on that side of the room or something. Okay, come here baby. Hello. Okay, I'll be there soon. Do I need to bring any new music? Okay, bye. Becky are you okay? You seem a bit agitated. My arms are tingling and a bit numb. Let me take a break. Okay, you do that. Come back later. Let's continue. I think I'm going to go home and get some rest because I'm not feeling good. Okay go home and get some rest. Call me tomorrow and let me know how you feel. Okay, thanks. How are you feeling? I don't know. I was at rehearsal and I started to have a tingling sensation in my arms. I think I'm going to get checked out tomorrow. Baby, are you okay? It feels like acid is flowing through my veins. I need to go to the hospital, please. I'll take you right away, let's go. I can't deal with this too much longer. This hurts so much. I don't want this. I don't know what to do. Just wait for the doctor to check you out. Nurse can we please get some help over here? A doctor will see her soon. Please, tell the doctor that she's in a lot of pain. I don't think she's going to make it through the night. I'll try my best to get the message to the doctor. Thank you. Hi I'm Dr. Tidem, so, what seems to be the problem? I was at rehearsal when my arm started tingling. I took a break and then I went home. Went to sleep and I woke up in the middle of the night and my arms felt like acid was flowing through my veins. Okay, 
It looks like your arms are still bothering you. Yes, they are, very much. Let's get a urine sample and blood drawn and we'll take some test. We have your test results. Looks like you have kidney failure and it seems to be increasing quickly. You may have to go on dialysis right away. I don't believe this. I don't believe this is happening to me. How could this happen? You might have indulged into too much salt or soda. Certain meat can affect your kidneys too. I don't believe this is happening to you. You've been eating healthy most of your life, right? I remember my first talent show. Slow down, you don't want to eat too much and get sick. I don't know what it was but when you gave me that soda backstage, it felt like when Poppy gets his spinach. It's the caffeine that gave you that boost. You keep this up you're to be a famous violinist someday. You think so? I'm going to try my best. I love the way it feels when I play but it feels even better when I stop playing and the crowd erupts with cheers. Oh dad, that feels great. Feels great doesn't it? Yes it does. Hello. Hey girl, how are you doing? We haven't talked in a little while. I've been thinking about you. I'm sick, I got some type of kidney failure. So I may have to go on dialysis. Are you kidding me? You are so young. This can't be happening. I don't know, I was at rehearsal and my arms got all weak and shit, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I don't think I'll be able to play. Let's see what happens with Dave and call me later okay? Thank you girl. You're such a good friend. I'm AB positive so I'm not compatible to your O positive. Let me call some of my relatives and see if I can get a donor.
somebody was compatible with my blood type. Beside that, it seems like some family and friends are breaking off. Breaking off? What do you mean? Well, since this has happened to me some people have been acting a bit distant. Like if I got some disease they can catch. It's been weird and hurtful. I would never treat any of them like this if they got sick. That just goes to show you who your true family and friends are. That's right. Now I'm starting to notice who my real family and friends are. I'm always going to be your friend girlfriend. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much, you just don't know. Anyway, what is your blood type? I'm O positive. How do you know? I get checked out on a yearly basis so the doctor told me last year I was O positive. So what do you think? Do you think you can donate? I'm pretty sure I can. I don't drink. I don't take hard drugs so everything looks pretty good. Let me call the doctor and see what steps to go through for this donation process. Okay, call me back and let me know. I'll do whatever it takes to get you through this. That's great girl. I'll call you back. Hello, Dr. Tidham here. Hello, Dr. Tidham. I have a potential donor. What are the steps I need to take to get this started? Just tell her to come in and we can run some test on her to make sure she's compatible for you. In the meantime we need to get you in for a catheter. Okay doc, when do you want me to come in? Can you come in tomorrow at 9.30? Yes I'll be there. See you tomorrow at 9.30. Hey the doctor just said that you have to come in and get evaluated. In the meantime I have to get a catheter put in. What's a catheter? It's a tube they put in your chest that connects to your heart. Damn, are you serious? I wouldn't be joking about something like this. That's not the worst of it. They have to connect a main artery to a vein. That way they can do dialysis without using a catheter. A catheter is used temporarily until the vein develops. That shit is so crazy. Okay when do you want me to go in? As soon as possible would be cool. I can go next week. Next week. Okay well I start dialysis in a few days. Do it whenever you can. Just give me a call before you go and maybe I can come with you. Okay that would be cool. Okay girl, keep in touch. Okay, I'll call you later next week. Hi Becky, everything went well. You have to use this for 3 to 5 months and you can't get that area wet. So just take a sponge bath. Why can't I take a shower? There are high risk of infection if you get it dirty or wet. That's why we only use it for 3 to 5 months. We have to let your graft mature before we use it. Holy shit. Hi baby, how'd it go? I don't know, I'm so confused about this shit. I got my first treatment tomorrow so I'm going to get some sleep. Lisa called you yet? No she hasn't but I'm about to call her after today's treatment. It hurts so bad. What's going on?
Sometimes you will get cramps if we take too much off too fast. We'll give you some saline to calm it down. Almost time to get off. Good, because this is torture. So, how was your day? Not good, I got some terrible cramps today that almost killed me. Oh shit. I didn't know, sorry. I don't know how some people can do this for years. I've got to get a donor soon. What's up Lisa, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you doing? I'm all right, I was just wondering when you were going to call me. I really hope we can get this done. What? Donating a kidney. You forgot about your offer? Oh girl I'm sorry. I've just been very busy and I'm trying to get ready for my trip. Trip? What trip? A part of my company is expanding to Paris and I'm going with them to check it out. You're not having second thoughts of donating a kidney to me, are you? No, I've just been very busy. Okay, when are you leaving? Maybe in a week or two. So we got time to go see the doctor. I'm pretty busy so let's play it by ear. Play it by ear. I don't have time to be playing it by ear. We got to do this now. Becky. You know what, I'm sorry. I'm just very stressed and being on dialysis is taking a toll. I'm sorry too girl. I didn't realize how hard this is on you. When do you want me at the hospital? You think we can get this done tomorrow? I got this meeting tomorrow so I'm not sure if I can do it tomorrow. So maybe after the meeting? Yeah, I think that will be cool. I'll meet you at the hospital after the meeting tomorrow. Okay. Okay, what time? About 3 o'clock in the lobby. I'll be waiting in the lobby. Okay. This woman stood me up. I got to get some fresh air. You wouldn't believe what I'm looking at right now? Let me guess. Lisa, lagging around. Yes, you got to come to the park. I'm on my way. So this was your big meeting? I'm done with that meeting. I just came out here to get some air. You said you would meet me at the hospital after your meeting. I just got here. I was going to go in a moment. I've been here for a while and I've seen you here over an hour ago. You said that meeting was at 2 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock right now. The schedule was changed so we did it an hour ago. We can go tomorrow I swear. I don't know what to believe anymore. Can I trust you on this? Yes you can. I'll be there. Okay don't let me down. I'm mixed with a lot of emotion so let's do this in the morning, please. Okay, I have to do this one thing in the morning so I'll call you right after. You know what, never mind I don't need it from you because you are stressing me out more than the shit I'm going through at the clinic. I swear I'll call you in the morning. Don't bother I said, I start on my second week on dialysis and I don't need the added stress. I'm going to get on the kidney list so I don't need yours or whatever you're trying to do.
I'm going to be there for you Becky. Don't worry about getting on that list because you are going to have one of mine. I'll call you tomorrow Becky I swear. Remember what you said earlier, in these times you will know who your true friends and family are. You can't trust that broad. She's too shady. Something is wrong with her. She might be one of those compulsive liars. I don't know but I'm done depending on her. I should have seen this coming because of what happened in the past. What do you mean? What happened in the past? After a few weeks of knowing her I let her come home with me. When we got off the train and were walking up the block she said. We are so close to my house. I got a house on Elizabeth. Really, you got a house around here? You should take me there. Oh, I would but they're painting and fumigating. Painting and fumigating? Which one is it? I don't think they can do both at the same time. Yeah, they can. Oh look, we're on Elizabeth. Damn, that girl is something else. That's not the worst of it. One time I was playing downtown and someone was singing for money at the BART station. I was thinking to myself that person is not going to make that much money. Then when I was leaving we ran into each other. Hey, what's up girl? How you doing? I'm fine. I'm just down at Bart making some money singing. Really? How did you do? I did good. How about you? You was out here playing? Yeah, just doing my thing. You know I was singing at a wedding in Paris and this guy gave me a card and said, you will be expecting a call soon. A call from who? Pavarotti called me to see if I was interested singing opera and that he would take time out to train me. Really? Pavarotti? Look Lisa, I'm not a fool. You don't have to tell me things like this to impress me or whatever reason you are telling me this. What? You don't think I'm telling you the truth? You're insulting my intelligence when you do this. If you want to be my friend just be honest with me. I don't need to lie to you. Who are you where I have to be lying to you anyway? I got to go. I don't need this shit. Lisa, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you by being honest and true with you. Thanks, I got to go. I didn't know all of that. Why would you stay friends with her after all that? Well, she has her good moments. One time I was playing downtown and this guy was harassing me. Hey baby. What you doing? You want to come party with me? Hey. Leave my girlfriend alone unless you want to go home with a limp. Hey. What's that? A stun gun. If I hit you with this electric dick, you won't be able to get that shit up for a month. So fuck off. Okay. It's cool. You might need to get one of these to keep the creeps off you. Damn, maybe I will. Thanks girlfriend. Lisa has her good qualities but right now, I don't know what the fuck is going on now though.
Hey Becky, I got something to call me later and we can do that. I'm sorry but something came up, so let's talk later. This bitch is crazy. She won't leave me alone. I might have to get a restraining order out on Lisa. You just might have to. Are you Lisa Foster? Yes, I am. Restraining order for you. Why can't I stop? Hi Becky, how are you? I'm okay. How's my monthly test results? They're good but you have to work on getting your phosphorus down. Are you taking your binders? Yes, most of the time. You have to take them every time, faithfully. You also have to watch what you eat. Okay, thanks. Hey doc, should I be on top of the kidney list soon? Well, your blood type is O positive, correct? Yes. People with O positive have to wait twice as long. Unless you get a donor on your own, you're going to have to wait about another five years. What? Why wasn't I told this in the beginning? I thought you knew. No I didn't know. A lot of shit was going on at the time. Maybe you did tell me but I don't know. My life was a bit crazy then and it's even crazier now since you told me that shit. Oh no. Unplug me now. Unplug me now. Okay, you have to sign this release if you want to get off early. Whatever, just get me out of here. I'm sorry, at least you're halfway there. What's the matter? You look pissed. They're telling me I'm going to have to wait another five years to get on top of the kidney list. I've been at it for four years already and I thought I was going to be on top of the list soon. I can't wait another five years. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to put out a video on YouTube and Facebook that I need a kidney. I can't deal with this shit for another five years. I have to try. That sounds like a good idea, maybe you should. But then again I don't want you to have the same situation like with Lisa. That's why I've been silent about it most of these years to avoid any situations like that but I'm tired. I really need to try. Okay go for it. Well look at this. This girl is beautiful. Why is she looking so sad though? She has a video. Let me take a look at it. Hello everyone my name is Becky. I'm a 38 year old woman that has been on dialysis for 4 years and I'm O positive. My doctor just told me that I have to wait another 5 years for a kidney. 
so I'm putting out a video to see if I can get a donor because it's been so hard doing dialysis three days a week three and a half hours each time. It's been very hard on my body. So if there's anyone with O positive blood type and would like to do a good deed, please give me a call. Thank you. I think I would like to help this woman. She looks very sincere and beautiful. Did she say she is O positive? I'm going to go to the doctors and find out my blood type. Wow thank you for your message. Are you really O positive? Are serious about donating a kidney to me? Well, I saw your video. You seem pretty sincere and it looks like you really need it. I feel so bad for you that you have to wait twice as long. It's not fair, so I figure I'd go check my blood type and it is O positive. So I said to myself, this must be meant to be because I'm willing to do a good deed for someone that doesn't need to suffer anymore. That is very sweet of you Chunky. Well here's my phone number 628-224-0874 so you to call me anytime if you have any questions. Okay. Okay cool. So how does this all work? Do I need to get checked out or something? Yeah, you have to go to my doctor's office. They will set you up with a few tests to see if you qualify and are compatible. Sounds good. Okay here's my number also. Okay, thanks. Call me whenever you're ready to see the doctor. Set it up and I'll be there. My schedule is wide open. I work for myself so I have a lot of time. Okay, I will set it up as soon as possible. I'll call the doctor in the morning. Hello, can I speak to Chunky? This is Chunky. Is this Becky? Yes, it is. How are I'm you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine, but could be better. I know what you mean, but you know what? I'm here to help so let's get this done and get you back on your feet. The doctor says the next available appointment is next week so in the meantime let me get a chance to know you. Can I take you out for lunch or something? I think we should talk face to face. Sounds good to me. Where do you want to meet? I know of a cool restaurant on the coast. I'll take you there. Do you have a car or do we have to get a rental? I have a car. I can pick you up just give me your address. I'm on 14th and Main. You can come by about noon. Is that cool? I'll be there. Why would you give this stranger your address? You should have met him at a cafe or something. You've got to know people before you start giving away your address and shit. I'm sorry but this guy is going to give me a kidney and I'm sick of waiting. I know honey, but I don't want to see you get hurt again. Do you want me to go with you to censor this guy out? To make sure he's not a wacko. No that's okay. I don't want to set off a bad impression and chase him away. I want him to be completely secure about my situation. I'm going to be very careful about what I tell him about my personal life. Eventually I will tell him about us. I don't want him thinking he has a chance to get with me. Alright call me if you need anything. Becky. Hi Chunky, how are you doing? I'm fine, come on in, let's go eat.
So Becky, tell me about yourself. Well, first things first. How did you see my video and what made you answer it? My business has me on the computer a lot so I often go on YouTube. So when I saw your video I was like that woman looks like she really needs help. So when you mentioned your blood type one decided to go check mine. I really didn't think it would match yours but it did. Why didn't you think that you would match? Because I was hearing O positive blood type is a rare blood type. Yes it is. It's making me wait twice as long than anyone else. So what made you want to donate to me? My mother passed away from kidney failure. She could have put up a fight like you but she decided to drink more and take hard drugs so that really damaged her body faster. It killed her in six months after she found out about her kidney problem. I tried to help her but she said, save it for someone good. Save it for someone good? That's what she said? Yes. So when I saw you and your situation I really felt I had to step up for my mother's sake. Wow, sorry about your mom. Some people take the news differently than others. Some fight it and suffer along the way but some go out with a bang. Sometimes I wish I would have taken that route. I'm glad you didn't. Why? It's not good to give up on life when it gets hard. The whole meaning of life is to fight for it. So what made you fight for life instead of giving in? My music. Your music? You like to listen to music? Yeah I do, but I play the violin in an orchestra. That's what makes me fight. I want to play again. Wow, that's cool. How long have you been playing? I've been playing since I was a little girl. You must be good. I would love to see you play. Well, I haven't played in a while. Consider the situation that you are saving my life. I owe you that much. We can go to my theater I used to rehearse at. Your theater? The theater I used to play at. I'm always welcome there. We can go after dinner. Okay, cool. Becky, Becky, how are you? Haven't heard from you in a few years. I've been dealing with my health and I'm trying to get back on track. This is my friend Chunky and I wanted to play for him a bit. It would be an honor to hear you play again. I'm sorry I got so emotional back there. It's okay. I was very impressed with your playing. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I haven't played like that in so long. I didn't know it was going to affect me that hard. Thanks for playing for me. That was great. I enjoyed it very much. I'm going to make sure you get my kidney so you can get back to doing what you love to do. Under one condition, you get me tickets to see you play whenever I want. I'll try my best. Your best is good enough for me. Let's go.
I'm scared. You think this is all going to work out for me? I'm here for you Becky. I'm going to give you one of my kidneys. You are going to be back on track again and be a great musician again. I'm going to see you at your first return concert. Sounds like a good plan. I hope it happens. It will, I guarantee it. If I pass the qualifications, that is. I pray that you do. See you soon, Chunky. How was it? Is he a wacko? Did you get those vibes? No I didn't. He's actually pretty cool. What do you mean pretty cool? This guy is a computer whiz. He designs apps and programs. Did you tell him about me? About us? No I really didn't have to. I told him a little bit about myself and he told me a bit about himself. I was moved actually. You were moved? What do you mean you were moved? The reason he's donating his kidney to me is because of his mom. His mom. His mom got sick and died from kidney failure so he's trying to do good for someone. Well you better tell him soon. I don't want you leading him on, letting him think that you're single and interested. I love you baby and I got this under control. This guy is going to give me one of his kidneys. I love you too but Lisa said the same shit and look what happened, restraining order. Come on baby, stay positive. I think it will be better this time around. I hope so. Want me to come pick you up or meet you at the hospital? Yeah, you can come get me. How did you know it was me? I have caller ID and I have your number in my contact list. Okay, the appointment is at 10.30. Is that okay? Cool, I'll be there in a bit. Hello Becky, hello Chunky, you can come in now, the testing will take about an hour. So be patient. How did it go? Good, I passed all the tests that I need to qualify. I think you'll be getting a kidney soon. That's so great. Let's celebrate, let me treat you to dinner. Sounds good to me. Let's go. I appreciate what you're doing for me. It must be not easy making a decision like this. Must be harder to go through the shit you've been going through for four years. Three days a week, four hours a day, must be much harder to go through that shit. 
Then for them to tell you, you have to wait another five years. You must have wanted to end it all. The first few years was the worst. I got so weak that I couldn't even walk up the steps. That's when I wanted to end it all but I had to be strong and keep my faith. You're the most amazing woman I've ever met. Beautiful too, considering the shit they're putting you through. Pretty amazing woman. Do you have a man in your life? A woman? Because I can't see you being single. Well I've been so busy with my music and dealing with this. I try to stay focused on getting a kidney but you never know when I'm done I might start something. Like what? I would like a family but at my age it might be too late. It's never too late for you. You are a beautiful woman and I think you can have anyone you want. I don't know, we'll see. You know what? I wanted to thank you again. You are so amazing for doing this. I don't know how to repay you. You'll figure something out. Thank you again. I had a great time. I had a great time also, and you can stop thanking me so much. I can't help it, I'm so thankful of you. You are a great person. Everything looks good. I think this Chunky is a good match for Becky. Give Becky and Chunky a call and make the appointment for the transplant. Hi Becky, how do you feel? I'm fine, how did it go? It went fine, we just have to wait for your kidney to kick in. How will we know when it will kick in? That first urination, that's how we'll know it kicked in. Let me check up on Chunky. How are you doing Chunky? My head is spinning and I feel nauseated. I think I'm going to get sick. I think I feel a little pressure in my belly. Let me go to the bathroom.
okay? You don't look good. I'm okay. I got sick a moment ago. I'll be okay. How are you? I urinated. You urinated? Me too. What's the big deal? You don't understand. When you urinate after a transplant, that means the kidney has kicked in. Oh, I didn't know. That's great. Thank you, thank you so very much. Chunky, you are so wonderful for doing this. I'm going to take very good care of this kidney. I'm going to call Dave and tell him the good news. Dave, who is Dave? That's my boyfriend. I thought I told you about him. No, you haven't. I would have remembered you telling me about a boyfriend. I asked you if you were involved with someone, but you said you were too busy for it. I really don't remember what I said, but I am seeing someone and we are about to be engaged. I've got to call him and let him know. Hello Becky, is that you? It all worked out, I urinated as soon as I woke up. Urinated, that's a good thing right? That's when you know your kidney kicked in. Oh that's great. When can I come and get you from the hospital? I have to stay for three or four days. Come to the hospital now though. I want you to meet Chunky. Alright cool, I'll come by right away. Hi baby, how are you doing? I'm fine, it's so good to see you. Always good to see you too. You got a lot flowers here. Who came to visit? I don't know, I woke up and there were all these flowers. They smell good don't they? I'm just so glad you made it through. When you get out of here, we've got to celebrate. Sounds like a plan, I can't wait. Where is Chunky? I have to greet him and give thanks. He's in the other room. Go say hi. Who are you? I'm Dave, Becky's fiancé. I'm a little busy right now, so can you please leave? Yeah, no problem. I thank you for doing what you did for Becky. It's just going to improve our lives and get better. So I hope you're not going to interfere with that because Becky and I are soon to be engaged. So I hope you can respect that. And let us be. Hey baby, you need anything? No, I'm good. I got everything I want right here. How did it go with Chunky? He doesn't look good. What do you mean? What do I mean? I think you shouldn't think about it right now. No, what did he say? Hi Becky, how do you feel? Good, feeling stronger than yesterday. Good, we ran a few tests and everything looks great. You should get your release by tomorrow. That's great doc, thank you so much. Chunky should be checking out today. Let me go tell him the good news. Chunky, how are you doing? I'm okay, how's Becky? She's good, she's getting released tomorrow. You will be released also. Okay, I'll let you know when we'll let you out tomorrow. I'll let you get some rest now.
Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel great. Once again I thank you so much. That's great. We should celebrate. I would love to. But I told my boyfriend I would celebrate with him tonight. Can I call you tomorrow? Okay that's cool. What time do you think you'll call? I'm not sure but I promise I'll call you and we will celebrate. Thank you so much. Chunky, what are you doing here? I thought we were linking up today. I said I would call you first? You can't just show up at my house. My bad, you're right. I get a little confused sometimes. Call me later and let me know. No, that's okay. Let's do this now so we can talk. Honey let me talk to you later. I'll call you in a bit. Call me if you need anything. So what do you want to do? I'm hungry we can go eat. Sounds good, let's go to the coast. So what are you going to do with yourself now? Well as soon as I get my strength back I'm going to start playing music again. Orca said I can play with him as soon as I get better. Dave and I just got engaged. He just asked me to marry him. And what did you say? I said yes of course. We've been together for a long time. Well, I thought we had something brewing here. We were just getting to know each other and I really thought you were into me. The way you look at me and the way you act with me tells me a lot. You're cool and everything but it was never like that. I have a music career and a potential husband. Why didn't you tell me about him in the beginning? Would that had make a difference? Would you have given me a kidney if you knew I had a boyfriend? I don't know, it might have but the way you came off on me was such a turn on. Your flirty ways, I seen it in your eyes. I know we have something going on. We have a lot in common and we get along so well. I thought we were starting to have feelings for one another. Don't you think so? Aren't we a part of each other now? No it was never like that. 
I mean the way you looked at me when we first met. I know you felt something. No, it was always about the kidney but you seemed to be nice so I kind of let you in. I had a situation a long time ago with somebody so I kept a distance with some people that tried to get close. I think you're wrong, I think you don't see it yet, you are still coming down from the surgery, you will soon see the truth that we are a pair, you are a part of me now and I'm a part of you. Just stop playing games and get with the program. There's no one playing games and I'm about to get married and continue my life. Thank you for everything but you got it all wrong. I don't think so, you got it wrong, and you will soon see it my way. Your way, what are you talking about? I'm done here, you are creeping me out. You'll soon see we are meant to be together. Forget that Dave, he does nothing for you, I'm your man. What's wrong Becky? Chunky started talking crazy. We should be together. I will soon see it his way and all this crazy shit. I have a real bad feeling about this dude. I had a weird feeling about him when we met at the hospital. I'm going to have to talk to Chunky, this dude is trippin'. No just leave it alone maybe he'll just go away. A dude like that just doesn't go away. Do you remember what happened before with Lisa? It took a restraining order for her to go away. What do you think this jerk-off is going to do? I'm not going to let it get that far. Give me his phone number and his address. Hello ladies. How's the food? Everything okay? Yes, thank you. I would like some more coffee. Thank you. I'll get that for you right away. Gentlemen, everything okay? Need water, coffee? No thanks. Wheel good, thanks. Can you give table 7 some more coffee? Thank you. Sure Dave, no problem. Dave, this guy at table 15 doesn't want to order anything. He said the food here is shit. He said, the food here is shit. Table 15. What are you doing here? Obviously not for the food. Sit down, I want to talk to you about Becky. Nah, I'm not going to sit down. You're going to sit down or I'm going to make a big fucking scene in this place. Make it quick, I got a restaurant to run and after you done you need to order something or leave. I'll leave when I'm goddamn good and ready. What do you got to say? I'm worried about Becky, I don't think she's in her right state of mind. Don't worry about Becky, she's doing fine, she's got a kidney and she's about to get back on track with her music. She got my kidney, she also got my heart. What's wrong, your little heart is broke. Nah, I'm just wondering how long it's going to take her to come to her senses. I think her senses are intact. I think you need to get your shit together though. Move on with life. It's great what you did for her but you got to stop this shit. Why you think she didn't tell me about you from the beginning? I think she thought you wouldn't give her a kidney. She was really desperate at the time. 
she did what she had to do to get one. Even making someone fall in love with her, that's what she did. How is that even possible? No one is that strong. She might have been a little flirty with you. That's just because she needed to be nice to you. For you to believe. Believe in what, Dave? Believe in her. You should have seen how hard it was for her all those years when she was on dialysis. So when a chance came along, she did what she had to do. Okay, she was overly nice to you. She didn't tell you about me. I told her that wasn't right but she did what she thought was right. She did this to the wrong person. No, I am the right person. I'm the one she fell in love with. She doesn't love you. She's not in love with you. So just lick your wounds and move on. She has scarred me too deep for me to just stop. Besides deep down inside I know she loves me. We are about to be married so leave us at peace and be gone. I think you should be gone and avoid the tidal wave that about to cover your head. Don't you get it? She doesn't love you. She doesn't love you anymore. She loves me. She's a part of me and I'm a part of her. You don't fit her. You're just a tool. You can't do what I do for her. So just fuck off. You know what? You need to get out of my restaurant before you get hurt. Leave Becky alone. Leave us alone. You know, she practically threw it at me the first day we met. She couldn't keep her hands off me. She even jerked me off at the table. Okay, that's it. Get the fuck out of my restaurant. Get up, get out. Don't come back here, I'll have your ass arrested. Hello. Hey I got your message. Everything is going to be okay. Becky is just coming down from a shocking experience. Yes, her getting a kidney from a crazy guy like you. I knew there was something fucked up about you when we met at the hospital. Well at this moment you and her don't know what's best for her. She will soon come around. She will realize we belong to each other and know you're not the man for her. The one that saved her life is the one. Me. You could never provide what I just provided. You don't know what it's like to be a part of her and her be part of you. You could never know, so just step aside and let this happen because it's going to happen no matter what you say or do. You are not a part of her, I am. So once again just step aside before it gets ugly. Hey man. Hey, we might have a problem. That punk just hung up on me. He's a crazy prick this guy. I'm going to have to get in his face and make him leave you alone. I don't know babe. This guy could be dangerous. You don't know what he's capable of. He doesn't know me either. I'll whoop his ass if I have to. I hope it doesn't comes down to that. Look, I'm going to take care of this clown for you. Don't worry about a thing. Becky are you okay? You were having a terrible nightmare. This fucking asshole is now in my dreams. I was having a terrible nightmare about this jerk. This is too much. Something has to be done. What do you think we should do? First thing we have to do is protect ourselves. I'm going to have to take you to the range and practice shooting my gun.
I kind of liked doing that. It was therapeutic. It relaxed me a bit. I hope you never have to use it on him because he's going to be in trouble. You are a natural with this gun. It felt natural when I was shooting. I was imagining that Chunky was downrange. That's why most of your bullets were hitting the body of your target? Yeah, that felt good. Let's not put our guards down too early because this maniac is still out there. We have to stay focused on this matter. Yeah you know I was thinking I should carry around a bottle of mace and maybe a stun gun too. This gun is not enough for you? You want to carry around that stuff too? Well, you could never be too safe. Lisa was very good with a stun gun. You might be right. Let's do whatever it takes to protect you. In the meantime, I'll have to try to go get my job back. Orca told me that I can come back whenever I'm ready so let me practice a bit. to leave me alone. Is this man bothering you? Besides I don't allow people in the hall while we are rehearsing. Don't worry about it music boy. This has nothing to do with you. I need a word with my girl Becky. I'm not your girl and never will be. You have to be out of your mind being here like this. What state of mind should I be in? I don't think you're in your right frame of mind. Have you come to your senses yet? You need to just come with me and stop this nonsense. Your music is great but everything else you need to stop. Where do you think you're going? We have a lot to talk about. We have nothing to talk about. You are crazy. Why don't you just leave me alone? I can't, you are driving me crazy. You and your pretty big eyes with that luscious fat ass. You know what, you knew what you were doing when you lured me in. I didn't lure you in. You just fell for me. You're just a lonely sick bastard that didn't get enough attention as a kid or maybe got too much, I don't know, either way, you're fucking crazy. You led me on and conned me into giving you a kidney. You swindled your way into my heart. You put on your high beams and I was like a deer in the middle of an abandoned road. You made me fall in love with you. I didn't make you do anything. You did that on your own. But there is something you are going to do on your own. You're going to dump Dave because deep down inside you know that asshole is not for you. What the fuck? You know I'm going to marry him. Nah, I don't think so. I'm the one that gave you life again. So you belong to me and no one else. You are mine and I'm yours for life, because you have a part of me and I have you. You just don't know it yet but you will. I want to report someone harassing me. Okay, do you know the name of the person harassing you? His name is Chunky Day. He gave me a kidney and now he expects me to be intimate with him. I think I remember you. About five years ago. Didn't you have this problem before and have to put a restraining order out on someone? Yes that was me. I don't believe this shit is happening to me again. This time it's much worse. He wants me to be with him and he's threatening my fiancé. Okay, fill out this paperwork and tell me what you know about Chunky.
Hello, who is it? It's Officer Riggs. Are you Chunky Day? Yes, I am. You have been summoned with a restraining order. Stay away from Becky. She told me about you so I felt obligated to check up on this myself. The way she described you was disturbing. It was good that you donated a kidney to her but I think you've done it for different reason than trying to help someone out. You thought you were going to get something back. Thank you officer, is that it? come to your senses yet? You know I'm the one for you and you are the one for me. How many times do I have to remind you of that? What do I have to do to make you realize that we are meant to be? I know that I gave you a kidney but it's more than that. I love you and I really think you love me. Your head is just a bit cloudy so it's making you think a little off track. I don't love you and I never gave you a clue that I did so why don't you just leave me alone and get a life or something? I don't give a fuck about you. Just go away. You don't mean that, I know you don't. I'll prove it to you, you'll see. I will make you believe. You'll see. Becky are you okay? You seem very startled. I don't know what to do. Chunky is obsessed with me and I can't get him off my back. I went to the police and got a restraining order on him but he still will not leave me alone. Is there any way I can give him back the kidney? No, it doesn't work that way. A kidney will go under too much stress. Is it that bad that you would give your kidney back to him? This man is driving me crazy. I would give it back in a heartbeat if I could. You think he would leave you alone if you did give it back? To tell you the truth I don't think anything would work at this time. I'm going to have to do something to make him leave me alone. What do you think you'll do? I don't know but I'll think of something. Something has to be done about Chunky. He followed me at the park again. He's stalking you at the park? Even after the restraining order? He still doesn't know when to quit. I'm going to have to take some time off and see Chunky. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm just sitting here having a cup of coffee. Is that a crime? You've been having a cup of coffee in your car for three hours. You better tell me what you're really doing here. Do you know that house over there at the corner? There's a man named Chunky that lives there. He has been harassing my fiancé just because he gave her a kidney. Now he thinks he's in love with her. I know about the situation. Becky came to me a while back so I submitted a restraining order to him but he seemed not to care. So I told myself I was going to keep an eye out on him once in a while. Well he approached her twice, once at the park and once at her rehearsal. So he really doesn't give a damn about that straining order. As a matter of fact why hasn't he been arrested by now? He's been clearly beyond the boundaries of the restraining order. I don't know why, I'll look into it. Usually a restraining order is just to scare the accused away. That's crazy. There's no scaring this asshole away. Well, I can't have you on a stakeout on my time so take my card and call me if anything out of the ordinary happens. What is your number? If I have anything I'll call you.
Hello, hi Orca. I can meet you at Big Mama's restaurant. Okay, see you there. I think you are ready. You sound real good and your rhythm is back. Yes, I think I'm ready to come back. So is Music Boy your other trick? Trying to get his liver or you want another kidney? You are a greedy bitch you know that? This crazy guy again. You've got to do something about this shit before you come back. I told you before Music Boy, mind yourself. This has nothing to do with you. You need to leave. Get the hell out. Didn't I tell you, to stay out of it? Nah Jack, I'm just some leftover meat. That's been sitting in the sun to rot. Don't give this bitch anything like your heart. She'll slam it on the ground and kick it around like a soccer ball. I'm sorry I called you a bitch I just want you to come home. Get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm sorry about that. That will never happen again. You have to get your priorities straight before you come back. We don't need this kind of distraction around the orchestra. But I'm ready. You're ready, but this shit that you're going through is not going to stop until you do something about it. Take care of your business. Bye. So you finally came to your senses and ready to do this? Can I come in and talk to you? This is your place too. You are always welcomed here. I fixed the house up real good so you can feel right at home. Shut the fuck up. If you don't leave my husband and I alone I'm going to blast a hole in you so big your other kidney will fall through it. Your husband? You married that dickhead? He's not a dickhead and if you say one more word about Dave I'm going to create that hole. I don't believe you would do this to us. This is all bad for Dave. How do you figure? Dave is just in the way now. You're lucky we're not in a place that I know I can legally kill you. This is not like you. Why are you behaving like this? Just leave us the fuck alone. You come near us again and I will kill you. I'm going to change your life. So where were you today? When I came home you were gone. I went to Chunky's house and put my gun to his head. Really? Why didn't you tell me? I would have went with you. This is something I had to do alone. We are married now, you shouldn't have to do things like that alone. We are in this together remember? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm just so upset and frustrated with this asshole. I don't believe this shit is happening. This shit has to stop. I agree, but how are we going to stop him? In a way we're not going to get in trouble. Maybe we can lure him here. Tell him it's over between us and you realize the truth, some shit like that. Invite him over and we'll take him out. That might work. You think he'll fall for it though? He's so cocky he'll think I gave in and I want him back, or whatever. Call him and invite him over. I hope this works. Hello Chunky, I'm sorry, I've been so stubborn. You were right, I just needed some time to realize the truth. The truth? What would that be? Do I need to spell it out for you? Yes, I need to hear it. Yes, I need to hear it. Say it. 
I love you, and everything you've done for me. Come over and let's cherish this moment. Well, why don't you come here? You've never seen my place and I think you'll like it. Where's Dave? What did you do with him? I told him it was over and I had to do what was right. Besides you saved my life and he couldn't do anything like that for me. Yes, that's right. Okay I'll come over. Chunky, come on in. You're right, you have a real nice place here. I don't believe it. Everything I've done for you, everything I've been trying to do for you and you want me dead? What do you expect? You've been harassing me for over a year now. I'm tired of your shit. Since you won't leave me alone, I want you dead. I don't believe it. Everything I've done for you, everything I've been trying to do for you and you want me dead? I'm sorry, I fucked up. I told you something bad would happen with this carpet. I know I'm sorry too. What are we going to do now? We have to go after him before he can retaliate. Becky, I'm going to the gym. It will help me relax and think about our next move. Because our last move screwed up big time. Okay. Be careful, I don't want him coming after you. I don't think he'll do anything tonight. I'll be careful though. Love you. Love you too. have the nerve to come after me after all i done for becky 
you couldn't just leave us alone and let us live a happy life. What are you talking about? There is no future for you and Becky. Psycho. Yes there was. She lead me to believe she loved me. After what you and her just pulled, you left me no choice. Don't do this, you don't want to go to jail. Jail? I was never here, so you can go fuck yourself. What do we have here? We have a stabbing, several times to the neck. Were there any witnesses? No, it was pretty late when it happened so there weren't many people in the gym. Did you call his wife? Not yet. Don't call her. I'll tell her myself. Got a light. Yeah, here you go.
You can take me home now please. Yes ma'am. Driver, do you know where I live? Yes ma'am, I do. How do you know? I never gave you or the limousine service my address. Officer Riggs took me to the funeral parlor. This limousine met me there. Alright let's cut the shit. It's me Chunky. What the fuck are you doing here? What did you do with the limo driver? I dumped him in the bushes. He'll be alright. I just shocked him with 2,000 volts. 2,000 volts. You may have killed him. I had to make sure he was knocked out long enough to stay out of my way so I did what I needed to do. Why did you kill my husband? You guys tried to kill me, and that was unforgivable. I trusted you. I loved you. I think I still do. That's why I haven't killed you. But Dave, that was fun. I loved you so much. But now all that's changed. What are you doing? Where are you taking me? You'll see, you convinced me that you don't love me by using Dave to try to take me out. I understand now, you broke my heart. This is not easy to get over so I figure you owe me something. I owe you something? I don't owe you shit. You already took everything from me. Dave, he wasn't everything, you don't understand. How can you come into my life and just turn it all around? But that's all right, I'm going to get back what's mine. What are you talking about? You'll see when we get there. I rigged the doors so don't bother. You son of a bitch. Why don't you just? I must have said this a million times. I'm not going to say it anymore. I'm just going to kill you because there's no stopping you. Good way of thinking but that's never going to happen. I have a surprise for you though. What are you doing? Why do you have me strapped to this table? I have good news and bad news. You once went to doctor to ask him if you can give me my kidney back. He told you that it was impossible tasks but we are going to make that possible. You might die in the process but at least I get my kidney back and you are set free. How do you think you're going to do this without killing us both? Well, I have someone that you know that's going to help. Chunky, this not going to work. You both are going to die. No, I got everything we need to make this happen but I need your confidence. Get it together doc. Yeah, it's going to work. You're going to make it work because if you don't and I don't come out alive you will never know the location of your family.
speak up. Don't say a word. I will kill your kids if you make a wrong move. Why are you doing this? What is this about? Please don't hurt my family. Leave my kids alone. You bastard, I will kill you for this. Shut up, you're not going to do shit. Please, what do you want me to do? You are going to do what I tell you to do or you'll never see your family again. You're going to do another transplant on me. I want my kidney back. Tell me where my family is before I put you under. If you don't survive I'll never find my family. So make sure I don't die. You are one sick bastard. Dr. Tidham you can't do this. You have to think of something. I don't know what else to do. You did wonder if you can give back his kidney. Now here's your chance. Becky, I don't believe you want to give my kidney back. After all I've done for you. What do you expect you idiot, you've been harassing me for weeks. Well, this is your opportunity. Not like this though. In your basement? Chunky, let's do this right and do it at the hospital. After what I did, they're not going to allow it. This is all your fault if you didn't lead me to believe you love me. In your flirty fucking way, none of this would have happened if you just was honest. I was as honest with you as possible. Bullshit. You didn't tell me about Dave until you got a kidney from me. The point is, you took advantage of me then ran off and got married. That shit wasn't right. Do you listen to yourself sometimes? You are so sick. I didn't take advantage of you. You got caught up in this fantasy that was never going to happen. One can dream, right? Hello, Officer Bond here. Hey, this is Riggs. Becky is not at her house. I called and she's not picking up. Meet me at Chunky's house right away. Do you think Becky might be there? I don't know but I think Chunky has done something very stupid. Do you know what? Someone from the hospital called and said that Dr. Tatum hasn't shown up for work in three days. They called his house and nothing. And the point is? This is the same doctor that gave Becky the transplant. Ooh shit. Do you think Chunky might have kidnapped Dr. Tatum? Give me Tatum's address. Hello. Yes, Dr. Tatum's wife and kids are missing also. He might have used them for ransom. Get to Chunky's house and wait for me there. Don't do anything until I get there unless you hear or see anything suspicious then use your better judgment. Okay, I'll be there waiting for you. You see this key, this is the only key to that lock so you can get out. You're going to have a hard time getting that lock off if you kill me. 
You're going to have a harder time getting out of here also, so don't fuck up. Remember I have your wife and kids. I have the doctor's family. Good, I'm at Chunky's house. I will call the paramedics to come get them. I'll be there soon, don't move. I see some type of steam coming from the side of the house. I'm going to check it out. Okay, just be quiet and no one will get hurt. Understand? That goes for you too. Hello, may I help you? I'm Officer Bond. I was passing by and saw some type of smoke coming from the side of your house. Is everything alright? I'm just washing some clothes. Just washing? Yeah, just washing. Because steam smoke doesn't come out of the vent when washing. Only steam comes out when drying. I'm washing and drying. So there you go. Help, help, we're down here. This is all your fault. If you would have kept your mouth shut, that officer would still be alive. No, if you weren't such an incompetent asshole you would have locked the locks correctly. If you wouldn't have done this at all, none of this would have happened. Whatever. More cops will soon come so we better make this quick. Damn, I 
told him to wait. I don't believe this, I got a non-authorized entry. First I got cops at my door now there's someone breaking in. Let me go take care of this shit. This is never going to stop, and we are at the end of the line, so we are going to get started with plan B, I don't want that kidney back in me. When I was killing those cops it had me thinking, you tried to give my kidney back and I'm not going to let you get what you want. You always get what you want so I'm not going to let you get what you want this time. Doctor, I want you to take my kidney out of her and throw it in the trash. But that's going to kill her. I'm not going to do this even if you kill my family and I. Do you really want to go there? Your family is at your house in the basement. You can go home right after you do what I say. What's that? Help you commit murder. Just go ahead and kill me. You sick son of a bitch. Okay. What do I have to do to prove that I love you? You can let me go. Please let me go. You know what? I will let you go and set you free. But you can't leave with my kidney in you. You're going to kill me trying to do this. You know in some countries people get kidnapped for their kidneys. They use synthetic anesthesia, open them up, take out the kidneys, put the kidneys on ice, sew them up and give them something to sleep for 8 to 10 hours. Gives the kidnappers time to get away. That's what I'm going to do here.
There it is. So beautiful. Don't do this. This is your chance to finally do something right. I am going to do something right. I'm going to leave you alive. How do you think I'm going to survive this? You're not a surgeon. I watch a lot of YouTube. I can get it done. Besides when we're done here you will just manipulate some other trick to give you a kidney. You're good at that. You are one sick fuck. I never did anything that led you on. I'm tired of repeating myself and I'm tired of trying to convince you that I never led you on. You just led yourself to an unrealistic dream. Now it's leading you to murder. Still, after all this, you still won't admit that you use me to get a kidney. You use your sexy mentality to get to me and my heart. Okay, I was nice to you. Maybe I was too nice to you. Maybe you was. Let's get this done before more show up. Hi Becky, my name is Officer 3. Our office received a call from a friend of yours saying that you were kidnapped in a house where two cops were just killed. That's all she had to say for the whole department to be on his ass. We got there right before he could cut you. She? Who is she? Lisa Leia. Lisa, how did she know this was going on? She's right outside, would you like to talk to her? Yes, let her in, please. Hi Becky, how are you? I'm fine, how did you know what was going on with Chunky and I? Well, I was doing some things I wasn't supposed to be doing. Like what? Before you put a restraining order on me, I was hurting and lonely so I did what it took to keep your attention. By telling me you would give me a kidney? Yes. It was the wrong thing to do but like I said, I was lonely. After a while though I moved on got help. I started working out and got a job I didn't have to lie about. So years later I started jogging at the park we met. Then I saw you sitting on a bench looking for someone. So I just watched you. Seeing you there brought back all these feelings. Then he walked up to you and you seemed so happy to see him.
I was a bit jealous and wanted to know more about what's going on between you two. So I followed you two to a restaurant and to the hospital. I figured you really had a donor. I was so happy for you. I even dropped off some flowers at the hospital while you were in recovery. Then one day I saw you talking to him at an outdoor restaurant and you were highly upset with him. I knew something was wrong. So I would see you two from time to time and it wasn't looking good. When I didn't see you in the park for a while I decided to drive by your house. I saw you coming out of your house wearing all black. I knew something was extremely wrong. I knew he had something to do with it. So I followed your caravan to the cemetery and sat on a hill where I can see everything with my binoculars. I saw someone that looked like a limo driver knocking out another limo driver and dragging him away. I tried to get down the hill as fast as I could but I was too late. You've already gotten into the limo by the time I got there. I knew something bad was going to happen so I followed the limo and it led me to his house. So I parked a block away where I can see the house through my binoculars. When I saw a cop go up to the door, I figured everything will be okay then all of a sudden he was gone. So then I saw another cop pull up and go around back. That's when I called the cops. Five to seven minutes later cop cars were surrounding the house. They rushed in with a vengeance. When I heard gunshots I got out of my car and ran towards the house but stopped a few houses down. Then the paramedics showed up and they went through the back door. They brought you out on a stretcher and rushed you to the hospital.
One of the cops came out of the house and saw me across the street and waved me over. Are you the woman that called us about this? Yes I am. Is Becky okay? I think so, they're rushing her to hospital now. I don't know what to say. Crazy how things work out. You were stalking me, but a stalker I have to say. Thank you for watching over me. I'm just glad that dickhead didn't get the best of you. Now you can get back on your game of being a great musician but most of all, being my friend again, I hope. Yes, but you can't be stalking and lying to me anymore. Okay. Okay, that's a promise.